though it's just a title. That's profane and vain babble. <coughs> and I'm telling you, man, pursuant to 1 Peter 4 and 17, the day is coming when the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, he's going to call these wicked Israelites out on that shit. He's going to call them out on that shit. He's going to bring judgment. And usually when he brings judgment, it's swift and brutal. Okay? So you guys have been warned, man. Just like the Apostle Paul warned, warned, is warned in Timothy right here. He said, shun profane and vain babblings. Why is that? Let's read the next part of the verse. For they will increase unto more ungodliness. And we've seen examples of that now. The mark of the beast is not, is not the chip. The mark of the beast is sleeping with white women. <laughs> And other shit that they say. And their word will eat as doth a canker. And what is a canker? That's where you get the word cancer from. Okay, and you know with cancer it gets worse and worse. And then the Apostle Paul gives a couple of examples. He calls out names in this, this uh, passage right here. And their word will eat as doth a canker, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have eared, saying that the resurrection is past already. And El Capitano Zariac have eared, eared, saying that the, he the name of the Heavenly Father, this is the latest shit that he said. The name of the Heavenly Father is just a title. Well, what's his personal name? What is the one name? Because the scriptures speak about, matter of fact, let's go to Proverbs. Uh, the 30th chapter because we're living in a time where we have to know the true name of the father and the son so we if not uh, you know for other reasons the main reason being we have to be delivered by those names that's one of the main reasons we have to know the true name of the father and the son for deliverance man what is Acts the fourth chapter, the twelfth verse, tell us this: Neither is there no, is there any other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It specifically says name. So what are those names? Let's read Proverbs thirty and and four. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? It's talking about the great power of our our Father Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. What is his name? This is very important, man. You know, I'm, you know, you're looking around. I'm looking around. You're looking around. Your brothers out there. You're seeing certain Israelites are disrespecting the true name of the Father and the Son. The same thing with that other group, IUIC, with the head guy. You know, you know him. You know his name. Made a video disrespecting the name of the Heavenly Father. Another one of their members said you can call him Yo Play Yoga. No, again, it's this disrespect. What is what's up with this disrespect of the name of the Father and the Son, man? What's up with that? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, judgment is coming, man. Well, not I'm not me telling you. First Peter four and seventeen is telling you. I'm just echoing what First Peter four and seventeen says. Anyway, let me read on. It says, "What is his name?" And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? So, if you're a man of the Lord, if you're a member of the elect, you should be able to tell the names of the father and the son. And that's pursuant to Proverbs 30 and 4. Okay? What is his name and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? You should be able to tell. And if you're a true member of the elect, you will be able to tell. In the Apocrypha it says... The elect shall praise his holy name. It clearly says that in the Apocrypha. But you got these guys with this disrespect. <laughs> Let's go back to the video.
Father, like like the brother Mawatzak just said, the Heavenly Father created everything. You know, Isaiah 45 and 7. You know, the, the Heavenly Father said, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Make peace and create evil. <laughs> and what was funny is, Sarnetta asked, Zariac, is homosexuality evil? And Zariac said yes. And right there, Sarnetta had it. Because Isaiah 45 and 7 says, the Most High created good and then he created evil. Consecrated. 